What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival and today we're on a mission to gather as many component kits as possible. I actually built four thrusters because they're not they're not terrible to build. You just need a bit of metal, which we've got tons of. But to upgrade thrusters to level five, we need, you know, at least 10 component kits per level. So that's 40 component kits per thruster and that's 160 component kits, which is just an absolutely insane number. So Mark trades component kits at the HQ for oranges and uh, copper. So we're gonna grab oranges and we're gonna grow oranges as well as spuds because those are pretty much the only two things we need right now. And we're just gonna try and, you know, gather as many component kits as possible. And uh, I really need a garage space. Uh, I should probably, I should probably prioritize building a garage here at some point. But yeah, it, we're gonna just mass produce component kits and try and get those, uh, those thrusters all upgraded. And the reason why is because I wanna try and make a flyer and even with four thrusters, it's kind of, that's kind of low. I feel like we need probably at least like, you know, six or eight, maybe eight would probably be ideal to make like a nice big quadcopter sort of distributed load thing, but we can maybe do it with four. I mean, you need a really light vehicle, but it might be possible. But anyway, that's future plans, but that's, that's the plan. We need component kits so we can get thrusters because I'd like to get a flyer going just so I don't have to actually, you know, um, travel across the ground anymore. It's it's so much faster where you can fly from point A to point B, no problem. I should probably fix my watering system. Maybe we'll do that as well this episode. Everyone's been bugging me about fixing the watering system and uh, doing it proper with a pump that then goes to like the vacuum pump tube things. And apparently that'll pump the whole thing faster. We go, sorry, we go the main, main vacuum pump into a chest. And then from that chest, we feed out like a vacuum pump. But then we need to like three-way split it, right? Because the chest only has three outputs. So one of them would be consumed by the input. And then you'd have two outputs. And then you'd have to split that as well. So we'd probably need like two chests to do this. You know what? Maybe we won't, maybe we won't fix the watering system. Because like if you have one vacuum pump, God dang it, it's only gonna pull out of the one thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Just just thinking out loud, to be perfectly honest. I sort of do that a lot. But yeah, I was, because a lot of people have been saying, you know, if you have a, a water vacuum pump going to a chest, and then you have those little inline pump things that, uh, that we can build, going from the chest to all the other locations, then apparently that pumps faster than just the vacuum pump on its own going to each individual water chest. Because right now we can only fill up one water chest at a time and then it goes to the next one and so on and so forth. That's at least what you guys have been saying in the comments. No idea if it's true. Um, we also don't have beeswax, I just realized. And we would need a lot of beeswax to actually build those, uh, those vacuum pump inline guys. But anyway, we're just going to grow oranges and potatoes. Hopefully this is enough, and then we'll go to Mark's and trade all these oranges for component kits. I'll probably do a couple days of growing oranges because uh, I think we're going to need a lot of them. I don't know how much copper we have, to be honest. Is that good? You got all that? Perfect. We'll just finish this up. I'm not going to grow anything else, though. We'll keep the waves as small as possible. Yeah, that's, that's actually a terrible system. I really need it to, like... Yeah, I need it to just be lower. It needs to just be a whole lot lower. We need to make this thing automatic and we need to make it a lot lower because they all spray with a little bit of inaccuracy. And as a result, this is what we end up with. But no big deal. Future problems. So much uh, nonsense to deal with. In the meantime, I guess we'll uh, gather all our copper, which let's put some stone away. I could probably make some concrete actually. Does concrete take takes chemicals and water we could make a bunch of concrete so let's do that because we're gonna need concrete for all of our parking garage needs at some point oh my god i have a chest full of food okay well that's that's nice i didn't know i had that okay 250 copper there is that literally all the copper that is all the copper that we have are you serious we only have 250 copper total in the whole is there any in the mining vehicle? Is that is that the whole supply for the whole building? Let me check this thing. Let's see. Do you have any copper? No, you're literally just bad. Wow. Okay. Well, good to know. I guess we're going to have to go do some mining in the daytime as well. We'll just find some nodes locally. That shouldn't be a big deal. We'll have to shred something. But yeah, wow. I did not expect us to only have 250. I guess I spent all the copper crafting like component kits and things. It's not efficient to craft at all. It is so much more efficient in this game. The mod makers, they made it so that trading is always better than crafting. Pretty much for anything you trade for. 
They uh, they sent me a master trade list, which is super cool. But yeah, th all the ratios are better on copper. It still takes copper to trade everything. Wait, someone trades for copper too. Mark trades for eight component kits for 45 copper and four oranges. That's kind of rough. That's a lot of copper. Justin trades 20 copper for three broccoli and four bananas. Okay, never mind. That is that is a ripoff. Justin wants three broccoli for 20 copper and four bananas on top of that. That's insane. But that's fine. We're going to just chill here, fight off this raid, and then uh, tomorrow we'll go out and do some mining and see if we can gather more copper. 45 copper plus a few oranges. So if we need okay and that hold on let's do some math here let's let's see what we can get here let me let me do some quick maths so eight component kits okay we need 40 component kits for per thruster times four thrusters so we need 160 component kits which means we need to do this trade 20 times so we need to trade 20 times four oranges so we need 80 oranges total and then we need 20 times 45 copper so we need like what 900 copper is that right Thrusters are so expensive, it's insane. And then on top of that, the fuel consumption is high. I mean, we got an oil truck, so we'll have unlimited fuel. That's not a big deal. But just to make a flyer with some thrusters, it is insanely pricey. But that's fine. We'll uh, we'll grow these these oranges. It's not going to be 80. I think this was like 40-something. It was two packs of 20 and then a bit, so like 49 maybe. So we'll, we'll have to grow again for sure. And we'll grow more spuds as well. But, I mean, it'll be all right. We'll be fine. And I'm dead too. That's nice. That's great. That's great. Perfect. That's why we need more spuds. I should honestly make, and someone made a comment about it, which I think is a good idea. I should make a secondary farm. You can make a farm that's small, that just automatically plants and collects its own crops. Like if you had maybe only like, I don't know, eight or something plots or seven plots. Um, actually with potatoes, I think it's less. I think it would be like six. But we could actually have a spud farm that just constantly grows like six crops and then collects them automatically and then replants them and just keeps that cycle going forever. It would only work when obviously we have our base chunk loaded. But if we had that kind of like a continuous farm, it's small enough that it doesn't spawn raids, then we would just have a continuous, uh, an infinite supply of spuds every day we would gather more spuds. It would be slow, but it would be better than nothing. And I think that's probably a good idea um to do that at some point where we just build ourselves you know essentially a uh, a spud farm that's fully automatic and doesn't do any like we don't have to manage it at all so i'll probably do that at some point here and we'll build it completely separate like maybe we'll even build it below the um the garage side of things just on this side and like, it'll have a wall and stuff to protect it from raids but it honestly won't need it because unless we spawn a raid on the big farm because yeah it'll just constantly grow stuff on its own, no no big deal, like 24-7. But anyway, let's go find a chunk. We gotta get another 600 copper today. Oh boy, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. So we're just gonna go find some stuff to do that with. Are we got we got electricity, we're good. We got gas, we're good. Nice big chunk. It's not really on a hill. Perfect. We can just start shredding all this stuff. Beauty, I love these big drills. We should probably try out those uh, scud drills at some point too. Scoop drills, whatever. The drills from the glow crawlers. I think we need more of the stuff. But there are those drills. But these big drills are just phenomenal. Like, they're huge. They have such a huge radius of smashing stuff. Kind of nice. Alright, there's four copper rods so far. I'm not gonna... Oh, five copper rods. The ratio of copper is kind of rough. I think it's 15 or... No, it's, if you refine it by hand, it's 15. I don't know if you get more refining it with a refinery. I, I think you do. Maybe 20 or something. So we need 30 rods of copper. We're probably not going to get this on one node, but we'll see what we can do. I love the fact that these drills can just sweep up the stuff on the ground. That was always a pain in the butt in vanilla, was dealing with the rock chunks once they're on the ground. You needed all these, like, adjustable drill things. And with this, it's like, no, you put them one block above the ground, and they still have enough range to just chop the ground down. Like, it, they're actually great. At some point in time, I might have to, maybe not in this, once Chapter 2 comes out, I might look at it. We'll see what happens with Chapter 2. There's going to be a lot of new stuff, obviously. Um, but I might have to look at doing, like, a fully contained mining unit. Never really did that before, where you, you know, you build a machine that has drills and can completely enclose a, uh, a rock node. And you just drill the whole thing out in one straight shot. It would have to be a relatively large machine to do it. 
And so far I've never really found a reason for it because the rock nodes are always such different sizes and they're always so hard to, you know, adapt to. And they're always built on hills, right? Like you always have these little, well not all the time, but sometimes you have them built on these hills like we've got there. It's, it's like a little mound and, you know, that's great and everything, but it makes it a lot harder to build a vehicle that can automatically mine it all out. Mining flyer would be cool, except all the mining parts like collectors and refiners are super heavy. And as we're finding out in this episode, getting thrusters is a pain in the butt. And you pretty much can't do anything with a non-level 5 thruster, especially because of fuel consumption. Like any thruster that's not a level 5 sucks back so much go juice, it's not even funny. Like it's, it's ridiculous how much gas they take. All right, sick. That's, I think that's everything for this note. Let's actually take a look. We might have, might actually get, it's, oh, it's just doing the steel right now. Oh, now it's doing copper. All right, perfect. How much is it going to get from one copper node? Is it 20? I think it's 20. 20. Perfect. All right, so 20. And we've got, we got a bunch. I don't know. It's five, eight on that side. Another five on this side. One more rock node and we'll be good to go. It doesn't even have to be a big node so much more effective when you have a proper mining drill like we were struggling for materials before and now it's just kind of a joke all right that note is fully cleared we just got to grab these last couple of pieces perfect and let's go find another note that note is going to be terrible built up on that hill like that i think if we get one more node that's that's going to be all we need in terms of copper for this trade which will be good enough for now. We might need more later. We also are going to have a ton of stone. Like, I've got a ton of stone from all the mining we've been doing. So that's good. We're going to build a lot of concrete. We got chemicals now. We have an unlimited supply of chemicals. Which is perfect. And then, uh, you know, of course we've got a bunch of stone. Which is good. I think this node probably going to be a little easier than that one. Eh. Both look about the same. Let's go do the other one first. We'll get this one later. But yeah, I think we're going to be able to build the garage at some point. In time. I think that's probably going to be the next project is to, to get the garage going. Because I, I kind of get tired of parking my vehicles, you know, inside the crop field. It would be nice if they had a dedicated parking spot. We didn't have to sort of lift them every time we got back. Mining expert. Wonderful. Just got another achievement. There's another thing we'll have to do at some point in time. Achievement hunt this. I actually only have like one game on Steam, I think, that I've 100%ed, and it was like a game with only 10 achievements or something. Maybe I have a couple, but like, I, I really should achievement hunt more. This is definitely much more efficient than growing broccoli. My goodness, like three bro- what was it? Three broccoli for a single trade of 20 copper? That's so bad. Just on its own, that's terrible. All right, there we go. That's another 256, so 512. So we need another full stack of 256 and then a little bit more. And then we'd be okay. I think I think we're gonna make it. Well, that's gonna just keep working. So let's finish up, clean up this. Then we'll have to head back to base and uh, probably defend a raid and then replant all our crops again, which is gonna suck. But you know, at least we'll have spuds this time. Be a little bit better. But yeah, I gotta gonna just basically I'm just gonna plant as many oranges as we can, honestly. Um, and the reason why is just because, you know, eventually we're going to need to trade probably for component kits a second time. But the more component kits we can get, the better. Like, that's really what it comes down to. We need at least, you know, 160 just to do the stupid thruster upgrades. But we might need more thrusters. So if we could get even more component kits, you know, that's probably... Like, I'm hoping we can get maybe 200 plus component kits. That would be fantastic. That would be an ultimate goal for this episode just because it's insane to get them. And if you were to build them out of copper, you have to build circuits first, which is like copper and metal. And then you have to build component kits, which is like circuits plus some other stuff. I think more copper. So it does make sense to trade them from a resources perspective, but we also have to grow, you know, oranges then, which kind of sucks. Growing plants in Scrap Mechanic, it's not hard, it just takes time. You know, there's no way to speed it up. A little bit of fertilizer maybe, but other than that, you know, it still it still takes time even with the fertilizer. That's why we need an auto spud farm. I might have to go fight off this raid. I think these nodes will be fine, right? Like, we can come back. Yeah, let's go fight the raid. We'll come back. I, I was just thinking, like, the refinery takes, like, what, six seconds a node? There's, a, like, at least 10 or 15 down there. So that's at least a minute plus of just waiting for those to be refined. And we've got... 
like 59 seconds left on the raid, I think. It's hard to tell because there's two timers that are completely overlapped. Grab you. Throw you in there. Perfect. You can keep refining away. Let's grab some potatoes. Oh, wait. Sickle. 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 I always forget. Gotta use the sickle. Alright, that's good enough, right? Yeah, lots of potatoes. Perfect. Where's this raid at? Crops are under attack. Yes, I see that. Lots of bulls. Alright, let's go. Don't got time for you. Or you. Or you. I really don't have time for any of this. Alright, excuse me. Hi. Next. Okay. I got nodes I gotta refine, man. We got stuff to do. We got places to be. Crop the plant. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. We actually got more than I thought. 50... That's probably the sickle. That's actually probably the sickle effect. Because we only grew like 40-something plants. So that's like 50-something oranges. That's pretty good. And we got 50 seeds. 60... Or 80. 90 seeds. Wow, I can't count. It's good. That's good math. That's good Good numbers there. Alright, so that's perfect. Uh, how many more potatoes? Only 16 more potatoes. I guess I'll grow those as well with the oranges and we got to water all this stuff. Let's get you back outside. All right, perfect. Let's get you out of the way as well. This is probably uh probably important to get a garage. I do want to get a flyer first cuz I think it would be important to be able to like, you know, do side quests pretty quickly with a flyer and not have to, you know, constantly drive across the map when we could just fly there really quickly. I definitely need to fix this up too. Just a list of things that need to be improved. All right, let's grow some oranges anyway. Here we go. Just do the entire field. And then we'll go back and get our nodes. And then we'll just kind of chill and wait for the raid. And then head over to Mark and trade for as many components kits as we can. Upgrade. We'll definitely have enough component kits with this trade to upgrade all four of those thrusters. I'm hoping I also have an excess afterwards of like, you know, I don't know. 30 40 component kits that would be great 100 excess would be insane i don't think we're gonna have that much based on the copper but i don't think orange is gonna be the limiting factor here i mean we'll we'll see it's gonna be good Nothing more satisfying than filling up empty collectors with rock nodes. It's always the best part of the game when you finally get... Like, I hate starting a new survival game. I mean, it's fun. You know, it's always a new adventure, checking out a new world and everything. But it's a pain in the butt having to gather the initial set of resources. And then once you've gotten over that hurdle, it's wonderful. Once you get into some automation... Yeah, we've got over a thousand copper here. That's, that's actually amazing. That's perfect. And we've got more coming. That's great. Uh, well, we got time. I mean, I might as well do this other node right here. And just chop that out, too, while we're at it. And then that way we'll, uh... You know, we'll definitely be set for copper for a while. Possibly some other stuff. I'm gonna chop down these two trees, too, because... One, they're in the way, and... Two, we haven't gathered some wood in a while, so we probably need wood. Alright, done. So now we just gotta basically sit around and twiddle our thumbs until the rest of our crops grow. And uh, once those oranges grow, we'll take all that stuff and head over to the HQ. This isn't even gonna be the last raid. I wanna say it's the last raid. It's gonna be the last raid we have with crops. And then I'm gonna- oh my god, that this is a big raid. It got so laggy all of a sudden. That's not good. I think we have potatoes though. What the wolf head? Okay. Alright, I'll take the beef. Thank you very much. You're dead. I have a feeling there's a lot more on the other side here. Those uh it's extremely extreme yeah, hi. Hi everybody. Hi, how are you? Just keep shooting. That's all we do. Just keep shooting. That's so much meat. The meat is great. The wolf fur is whatever, but the meat is, is... Is that it? I think that's it. No, you're still... See? That's why we put metal 3 around that pump. 
Okay, that's it. They still haven't even broken a hole. It's great. I haven't repaired the wall at all. Oh, no, you're the last one. Hi. Oh, man, I'm out of spuds. Are you serious? That just burned through... I think I had two stacks of 50 on me. So that just burned through 100 studs. We definitely need an automatic spud farm. I feel like that would be the most useful thing. Although it's only going to grow, you know, six, seven plants a day. So it's not going to be great. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. And it only works if we're near the base. Well, they started to take some chunks of this. Still haven't broken through, though. But, yeah, it's it's definitely going to be more effective. Oh, my God, the stuff grew. Okay, perfect. Hold on. If we can harvest this quick enough, we might not get another raid. So, let's just grab the sickle and just very quickly get rid of all this stuff as soon as we possibly can. Even if it's just sitting on the ground, as long as it's not a plant... I think before 4 a.m. is the cutoff time. And now we shouldn't have a raid if these last few plants will grow, which they will. Perfect. All right, come on now. Let's just do the old water trick. Thank you. Done. And that's it. Perfect. All right, let's grab the stuff, head over to the HQ, and get the world's supply of component kits. So in the last episode, I added some stone weight under the front of the frame. And I think it helps a lot. Like, it's not concrete. It's stone. It's just the raw stone. It's a little bit heavy or a little bit lighter than the concrete. The concrete tier 3 gets really heavy. But that requires concrete and metal. And it seems to help with the vehicle's roll. Um, but the back suspension now is, like, fully bottomed out. It needs, it needs more back suspension. Which, again, we got component kits. We can upgrade that. So we might have to do that a little bit. Because it is very bottomed out on the back. But it definitely, it definitely drives a lot better. It doesn't really, like, want to flip as much. The stone weight definitely helps balance out the uh, the weight of the oil tank. So that's kind of nice. All right, Mark. What's up, Justin? Where is Mark at? Probably upstairs, I would assume. Oh, there he is. He's way in the back here. Dude, what are you doing? What's up? How's it going? Um, no, hold on a minute. Let me just, let me dump a couple of these. Let me dump that and that. All right, now let's trade. For Capota Kits. Thank you very much. Uh, I maxed out my storage space. Okay, so it stops me from trading if I... Oh my god. Uh, this is a problem. This is... This takes up more space than... Yeah, I didn't think... I didn't think this one through. Hold on a minute. This, uh... This takes up a lot more space than it provides. Uh, let's dump this on the ground. Let's pick up... Oh my god. I can't leave. If I leave, I'm gonna... Hold on a minute. This might be... this. The component kits don't stack as big. Oh god. They don't... Oh no! Oh, this was mistakes. Hold on. You know, let's dump this. Let's dump this. Let's dump the batteries because no one cares. That stuff is like less important than the stuff we just grabbed. Let's see if we can... How many component kits can I trade for here? Okay, that's it. We're out. We're out of... Oh god, that's amazing. Um, okay, so that's a hundred, that's a, that's a hundred right there. Right? Yeah, so that's 200. Right there, 240. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's a hundred more than I was expecting. Alright, so let's bring these out to the truck. And then we'll come back in and, uh, and pick up the rest of our stuff if it's still here. That is ridiculous. A hundred, you have to actually think about that. I should bring, I, you know what? I should bring a chest in. That would have made more sense if I just brought in a storage chest and then we could walk out with it. But I think, hopefully our stuff stays. I don't know if it does or not. Either way, we ditch the unimportant things. So that's good. 240 component kits. Yeah, this is this is great. Look at, look at all that. That's going to be enough at least to upgrade our thrusters. And then we'll have a little bit left over. Like an extra 80 to do other stuff with probably honestly get two more thrusters and upgrade them as well it's crazy how much thrusters but now it's good like now we're set up so we got enough oranges we could grow a whole field of oranges and do this again we'd have to go get more copper though don't have uh don't have the copper supply oh thank god awesome perfect all right well let's head back to base upgrade some thrusters this is gonna feel so unsatisfying i mean it, it it's great when you can be like, ah, and, and dump all the component kits into upgrades, but then you're just, it's its over way too fast. It's like, you know, just boom, done. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for, thanks for giving me that 10 seconds of enjoyment. Probably should clean up this mess at some point in time, but there we go. Oh, wait, no, I need my component kits. 
Uh, yeah, I need to get as many of these out as I can. Hold on a minute. Let's grab the... You know what? Let's just bring the whole truck upstairs. That's actually probably going to be an easier thing to do. There we go. We can just bring our truck right upstairs. And let's grab as many component kits as we can out of this bin. And then get really sad as we spend them all in about five seconds. All right, there we go. That's a lot of component kits. Let's just... Oh, right. Inventory full. Doesn't matter. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And just like that, we blew 160 component kits, making four thrusters. Un freaking believable how expensive that is. But you know what? We're good. We got four thrusters now, level five. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we need. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to now go and build a flyer in the next episode which is gonna be fantastic four should be enough um to build something small might not be a super industrial great flyer but it'll be at least hopefully something that we can get from point a to point b across the map and then you know worst case we've got like what another 80 component kits in here yeah another 80 so maybe we could build another two well we could build another two thrusters if we had to but i think four should be enough and then we'll use some suspension glitches to tilt it you know, forward, back, left, and right. And then that way we can kind of navigate just sort of like, you know, a helicopter would. We just tilt everything and move in specific directions. And that should do the trick. I could maybe do it the way I did a flyer with Cosmo where it actually spins and we adjust the angle of the thrusters to go up and down. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Mission accomplished. I mean, that's such a pain in the butt, but it's definitely faster. And we still got some oranges left over, which is nice. And uh, we'll definitely have to do another big orange haul at some point in time when we need more component kits. Gonna need more copper though. Gonna need a lot more copper. We might have to just grow a massive field of brock. I only have three broccoli seeds. Gonna take a while to expand that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.